Good morning, friends. It's a bins day. I'm getting ready to head out and drive about 20, 25 minutes to the Goodwill Outlet bins by my house where I will sift through giant blue bins of clothing and weigh it all and pay $3.49 a pound. And then I turn around and I sell that stuff on eBay and Poshmark. Today's a Thursday, so I've been before on Thursdays. I've been Fridays. And last week I went Saturday thinking it was going to be crazy busy and competitive, but it was the only day I could go. And it turned out to be one of the best days I've had so far. So come along. We'll do a little thrifting together. And then, of course, I will do a haul and show you what I got to resell. Here's my cart so far. I've done no sorting. I've been here about 20 minutes. Got some stuff I have to look up, but I found some really good things so far. My first piece of Ibex, some Isabella Marant, so some cool, some cool things so far. Now I'm going to go back and try and dig through stuff that I went through like super quick in the beginning and um, see what I can find. There's a lot of jackets and denim, which I'm really trying to stay clear of because they're so expensive here at $3.49 a pound, but if it's really great, I'll pick it up. Huh. Let's see what this is. Okay, this is one of my sad, sad fails. This is a Free People sweater. You guys know how I love my Free People. Size medium. Look at this cool mustard color, but it's just totally nailed. The pilling I could maybe deal with, but it's also got a big hole in the armpit, so that's my one of my very sad moments of the day, okay? So these I just stopped to look up because I hadn't seen them before, and the tag looked kind of interesting. Bombshell. They've got a little bit of wear, but they're pretty cute, and comps on them look actually really good. All right, I have to sort all of this into here now and look up a bunch of this stuff, which is not my favorite part. But here we go. Okay, I'm just out of the bins. I made it out before 12, which is like a small miracle. <laughs> they suck you in because they're like, we're about to do another rotation. And I'm like, oh, I end up wanting to stay for another rotation. But it's really too much for me. It's really too much to like get in line at 8.45 and stay in there till after 12. It was slow going, but I ended up getting some amazing pieces. Definitely some brands and certain things within a brand that I want to share with you guys so that you know about. Um, so maybe not quite as much quantity. My total was $137 and I'm usually more around $200. So I might have to come back another time this week, which is not my fave. But all in all, I think um, I got some really special stuff, some really tons of bread and butter as usual, tons of 15 to $20 flips, and then some really, a few really special things. So I'm excited to share those with you. Hey friends, it's Quenby. Welcome back. Welcome to the haul portion of this video. If I didn't already tell you, I love you guys so much. I don't know what I could do, would do. I don't know what I would do if I didn't have you guys to share my outlet hauls with because nobody else is going to get it like a fellow reseller, right? Like, get excited that you find a certain brand or something. I mean, there's probably some people who try to be really supportive, but um, no one's gonna get it like us, right? We get it. Okay, it was a little slow going. I did not find the quantity that I usually do, but I found some really great brands. So get ready to learn some new brands, maybe. Get ready to see what might be trending that I'm looking for so that when you go out th sourcing, you're gonna be a better sourcer. Does that ever happen to you guys? Let me know in the comments where it's like, you learn kind of a new brand or something in someone's haul video, and then you go out and find it the next time at the thrift store. And it's like, how many things am I passing over that just aren't on my radar? So let's start with a little anthropology. This is Moulinette Soars. I like selling this. Uh-oh, is the AF on? Let me check. Moulinette Soars. And this is a... Oh, it's so good. This is like a shirt dress. So it's button front. It's all pleated. It's got the pockets. It reminds me of like a vintage style. Look at the smocking in the back, all the elastic. So does this look so good to you right now? Maybe not. 
but <laughs> I will steam this and put it on my mannequin and it's gonna look so good. A really great anthropology brand dress. Now this is interesting. So it's like, what is this? I felt this and it felt like really good quality and it just had some like interest. Like I found it interesting. Like it's kind of a neat print. It just feels nice. And I'm like, what are these little string things hanging here? Oh my God, I can already tell this is gonna be the worst video. <laughs> worst meaning I'm gonna make so many mistakes. Oh well. It's a sheet, it just felt like really good quality and it just had these interesting little details. So I'm like, I'm just gonna look at it. It's Marimekko. Marimekko is a designer. They're known for their like big geometric prints and things. And so I looked it up really um, quickly because it's heavy. I mean, this is probably a pound and a half. So at 349, this is probably five bucks. But sheets from Marimekko pre-owned look like they're going around $50 on eBay. So I love selling linens and things like that if I can find it. Okay, this is a handbag. Handbags now are just mixed in with like hard goods and stuff. So this was in somebody's toss back pile and I was like, okay, no problem. This is a distressed leather. So it's supposed to look like that with some leather details. I just love this circular handle. Now it does look like it probably had a shoulder strap and this does not have the shoulder strap now. I love this thing. I, I'm i carrying a Latico handbag right now. So here's the brand, okay, so Latico, L-A-T-I-C-O. And it's really clean inside. Um, it's genuine leather, so I really like this. I really like that bag. Here's another bag. It needs a cleanup warning. So you're gonna be like, what's that? It's Kate Spade. It's a black nylon bag. Pretty simple. It has patent leather trim. The inside needs a serious cleanup. I have a so I'm just gonna fill my kitchen sink with water. This is that awesome soap you can get at the Dollar Tree. I think it's just like a stronger soap. And then I love the blue Dawn dish liquid. I think it's their strongest one or it's better at cutting grease or something. So I'm literally just gonna put this baby in here. I would not do this with a leather bag. Leather I would more like spot clean or spot with, I mean clean with less water. But since this is fabric, I'm just gonna give it a little bath and then, you know, I might gently, maybe with a gentler scrubby, scrub it up and then I will just let it sit out in the sun on this nice hot California day. All right, so let's check back in on this purse. All I did was put it in some soapy water and give it a little clean. We're outside in the daylight, so this is like the best possible light to show you everything. Um, looks remarkable. There's a little tiny bit of something still there, but remarkably better. I flipped the inside out so I can scrub all this. And there's like a little bit, but you know, it's, it looks so clean. Like I could list this and say a couple little dings. And I think it's a really great size and versatile Kate Spade at the bins. And this thing is so light, I probably paid a dollar fifty or something no. for it. I have a video on my channel. I think it's the best performing, performing video on my channel. It has like 50,000 views and it's how to clean your designer handbag or how to clean your thrifted handbags. And I still use that same method and same tools today. So if you're curious, check that out. So this needs a cleanup, but at the bins for less than three bucks, a little Kate Spade number. Sounds good to me. I might go a little quick today, guys, because we potentially could get through this whole thing, but we'll see how much I yap, yap, yap. Okay, I love this brand, XCVI. They make boho log and look things. It's sometimes certain pieces are carried in anthropology, but not all the pieces, obviously. And um, I use keywords like lag and look, boho. They make a lot of lightweight um, gathered skirts or super wide leg pants, but it's all comfortable and it all looks kind of the same. So this is probably a 25 or $30 uh, flip right here for this lightweight cargo utility type jacket. I'm always on the hunt for bras, guys. Um, so you'll see a lot of bras. This one I checked the comps on in the store. 
because it said made in Germany. It says Rosa Fea. I don't know. I looked it up and the comps were good on this one. So just make sure they're clean. Check the little hooks and make sure the hooks aren't bent up. No one wants to buy a bra that doesn't look like it's in, you know, excellent condition. I love this brand. If this fit me, it would be staying here. This is Solitaire. And um, they make a lot of embroidered boho peasant tops. I sometimes see this at like TJ Maxx and it's in like the $30 range there. This is a small, heavily embroidered kind of fuchsia top. Yes, please, I'll take it. I love it. <laughs> this is a linen top and that's why I bought it. I like to get linen tops with really good brands, but I'm also willing to say like, this is Liz Claiborne. It's not a brand I'm often out there looking for. It's a women's small Liz Claiborne, but it's a hundred percent linen black top. And it's all like um, pleated in the front. So I just sold a Gap extra small black linen top like this. And I think I sold it for like $14. This is a brand I absolutely love. I don't hear a lot of people talking about it, so I wonder if maybe you don't find it as much in your area. This is a knit, it's kind of a distressed looking knit blue sweater. I thought it might be Eileen Fisher because it had those vibes, but it's poetry. It's a US size 810 and it's 100% linen. Poetry. I've sold every piece of poetry that I've ever bought. I don't find it all that often. It usually sells in the $30 to $40 range for like pants or a dress. It sometimes takes a little bit to sell. Oh, I forgot I got this. This is my first time. Maybe I'll title this video like the best brands I have found. Um, this is Ibex, I-B-E-X, the art of wool. It's a size medium. I've never found Ibex. I've watched your videos and watched everybody else on YouTube find Ibex. This was in the first rotation. And it's interesting because it's a long line, I guess, jacket or could it be a dress? Let's take a look. It's either a jacket or a dress. And it's made of wool and it's like an activewear type brand, kind of like Arcteryx. Patagonia, smart wool, kind of like that stuff. So that's gonna do great. Oh my God, I have so many good brands in here. Let me throw in some bread and butter so that it's not just all like boom, boom, boom. These are Orvis, outdoor kind of wear. I bought these because they're women's 14 and I'm stocking up on these like hiking, camping style. These are called convertibles. So if they have a zip off leg and they can turn into shorts or if they have these buttons so that you can roll them up and convert them into kind of a capri or shorts. You can put convertible in your title. I'll put hiking, camping, nylon pants. A lot of people are looking for those right now. Is this another pair? Oh, this is Under Armour. I got these because they're size 16, women's size 16. So that's a nice, good, bigger size. And these are like another pair of athletic type pants. I don't mess with Under Armour much at all. Like I don't pick up their t-shirts or their leggings but I did want to pick up a larger size activewear pant like that. This is free people. So will it make it to eBay or Poshmark? Probably not if it fits me, but <laughs> often it doesn't. And it's a size medium that says free people on that little bar. It's one of my favorite Bohemian brands. And it's sometimes a little tricky to figure out what is going on with the top. <laughs> Why don't I do it in front of a thousand people in this video? Let's watch Quemby struggle to be excited about something and have no idea how it goes. Okay, a white, oh, I love white, a white heavily embroidered top and it's got these tassels and the tassels have little beads. Whoa, I just appreciate these little details and things. All right, I have to get a sip of my iced tea. Do you guys make sun tea? I just take a mason jar like this and I put some black tea bags in it and I set it outside in the sun for the day and it brews. And then it just has a different taste than if you make, if you brew the tea inside. But I really love it in the summer. What I'd like to be doing right now is drinking a giant iced coffee, but I'm trying to cut back. 
especially on a day where I go to the bins and it's already kind of an exciting frenetic day. If I add a cup of coffee on there, it makes me a little crazy. <laughs> makes me a little headachey is the truth. So I gotta, I gotta cut back. I can't believe I'm saying that. I've been such a coffee person my whole life. <laughs> Love my favorite color. This is turquoise, but this is a pashmina and it had a tag on it. Pashmina, 70% cashmere, 30% silk. So yes, I'll pick up a cashmere and silk pashmina. Don't, I mean, beautiful, right? This is a White House black market sweater in a size large. White House black market. Um, I like this sweater. To me, it doesn't look all that large though. It's not wool or anything, so it's not shrunken, but what I will definitely do, I always include measurements in my listings. I'm a curvy size person. I cannot buy anything based on brand or size. I have to see what the measurements actually are as a full figured person. So I, I put them in, in assuming that other people want that too. So like with this, I'll have to note, this is more of a cropped fitted style sweater. Please see the measurements to make sure that that large is gonna fit you. Okay, this is crew cuts. This is so cool. It's a UPF 50 plus little swim suit for a girl with tangerines or oranges all over it. Crew cuts is J. Crew's brand of kids' clothing and it's expensive and it tends to sell well, but somebody's going to be looking for that. Okay, this is a cabbie wool jacket. This is a little bit older, dated, because that's an older cabbie tag. But it's a size six and it's wool, like a, a cute little, so I'll put this in my winter box, fall winter box. What I'm doing now that I'm getting a lot at the bins is I have enough stuff where I can prioritize listing, you know, swimsuits and lighter weight things. And I'll take things like that wool jacket. I have it in a big bin and probably around August, or something, September, I'll start listing all that stuff. This is a designer, it's Isabel Marat. Now I do have to look into, because it's Etoile Isabel Marat, so that might be a different line. It might be more or less valuable, but definitely keep your eye out for Isabel Marat. Beautiful brand. I think they focus on um, women's career wear. This is a size two that might be vanity sizing, and this is a, kind of a chunky knit sweater. It's red and blues and things like that. What I usually find from Isabel Laurent is more like black career pants or I found like black tops or blazers or something. So this is really different for them. I'm gonna have to look that up. Oh, I'm, I did it again with the linens. You guys were supposed to stop me. <laughs> but how can you resist this? Hand embroidered lovebirds on a pillowcase with a lace, lace trim. Look at the detail of the trim. Some woman said, I'm going to make this sweet pillowcase for me and my honey to um, sleep with. I mean, it's just like so gorgeous. And I think Jill, she's a woman that I've met through YouTube. And now I see her at the bins and it's fun. There's so many great people there. I think she found the other one. She's like, look at this. I'm like, I have the other one in my cart. So there you go. This is a new to me brand, but comps on these look really good. They just looked interesting, okay? So if something's interesting, just check it out. So camo top, and then it almost, <laughs> they almost look like you're wearing like knee socks or something from the 70s. I don't know, but the brand is Bombshell Sportswear. They're a size large. They have a little bit of pilling. So I'll use my amazing D pillar on them. And if I can't get it all off, I'll note that there's a little pilling between the thighs. But other than that, they look great. And comps were amazing on those. Check this out, a new with tag Chico's, women's size two, new with tag jacket. I was hoping it had the price, but someone cut the price off. But it's like, who donates a new tag? And this is the newer label, Target, I mean Target, Chico's. Look at how I'm flipping the, flicking the tag for you. I don't know why I'm doing that. Chico's. <laughs> like, what? Cute little cotton. I love the colors on this. 
cotton Chico's jacket. I mean, that was probably so expensive at Chico's. Okay, we made it through one big bag. It's 16 minutes. Let's keep going. Why? Because it'd be amazing if I could do one video instead of two. And like I said, there's not as much as usual, but these brands are killer. Okay, like this. Denim and Supply Ralph Lauren. Oh, this is going to be so hard not to keep. Denim and Supply is a line of Ralph Lauren. It's no longer made. And so some pieces are really desirable. And look at the graphic on this. It's an eagle with a dream catcher. I might keep this. I, I love graphic tees. These are really good bras. If, you're, if you want to um, kind of wade into bras and you don't just want to pick up any good looking bra, this brand, Third Love, is really good. Third Love. That's a great bra brand third love and I love bras it says right on there what it is this is like a very well made bra and I think I found several of those and they're so inexpensive at the bins this bra is third love so that's great 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 <coughs> gets better and better doesn't it guys I'm so happy you're here and that I get to share this with you this is style and co and I got it because it's an XL XL is a great selling size for me, and this is a really nice oversized cardigan. Now, these are two free people tops that my friend Jill gave to me, which I thought was so kind of her. She's like, oh, I know you really like free people. Are you interested in these tops? I'm like, yeah. I'll show you that bar tag again. This is a size medium. It has lace and then it's got like some kind of a puff sleeve and that's a henley neckline so that's awesome i mean free people tops they're not selling for what they used to i'll probably put them up for 24.99 and and sell them for that or around 20. and here's another one this is like a wrap front top in this crinkle fabric what's interesting about this is the top is really sh the front is really short and then the back is long so hopefully I can find a stock photo because they, they make very unique items, unique cuts on their items. So what is this, baby? I just think I got great stuff today. So grateful. Prana, size large. I love selling Prana. Yes, yes, yes. Prana, size large. This is a men's t-shirt with a pocket and some stripies. That stuff is so expensive if you go to REI. I mean or their catalog. It's like, forget it. This is a Lululemon. I think this is a, a tech shirt. I think it's men's. I will double check all this. Here's the Lulu logo. I did not even see the Lulu logo when we were there. It's kind of hard to see when it's like gray on gray. In case you're trying to learn, can you see it? No. No one can see anything. It's very hard because it's gray on gray. There we go, Lululemon. Um, I just felt it, and then I saw this. Sometimes they'll have cool um, sayings. This one says, live in practice. This might be, it kind of reminds me of a run swiftly for women, but I think this one's men's. Oh no, it's got this, there we go. See those three stitches, that's men's. Um, I'll have to figure out the size. It might be on the bottom, it's, it's vented. This is really nice, oh, large. So it's also on the hem. I'm showing you all this. Some of you know this all already, but maybe you're newer and you're like, ah, oh, if you feel something like I often do in the bins, it just feels nice. I'll bring it to my cart and then I'll look it over. I'm like, this felt kind of like Lulu. And then I was like, oh, you look for those details, okay? Uh, these I took a little bit of a chance on. They're new with tag and they're kind of harem pants by the brand Halara. Play it my way. Um... There was tons of nude tag, and tons of it I passed on if I just didn't know the brand, but I thought the style on these was cool. They're super, super wide leg, and they're open with a slit. So those are kind of fun. They feel satiny. This is a vintage, um, what would this be, a corset or a bustier? It's vintage J.C. Penny, and I knew because of this. This is the Union Made I found lingerie and stuff with this symbol before. So that's a vintage union made tag. And this is a little white teeny kind of corset with boning. Someone might want that. Okay, we can do it, you guys. 
Can we hang? I'll go fast, I promise, because look, I still have this huge bag. But there's really good stuff. I don't want you to miss any of it. These are from my son Torvald, some Nike pants. Can't believe I can get him stuff there. That's so great. Oh, there's some really good brands in here. Don't miss out. Stay with me. This I got because it's a 1X. It's Michael Kors. I don't buy a lot of Michael Kors personally. Their handbags have sold well for me. But it's a 1X animal print um, kind of shift dress made out of like a spandex. All right. Oh, I know there's some things in here that are crazy good. These are J. Jill jeans. J. Jill jeans. <laughs> you try and say it. If you're at home, you just say J. Jill jeans. How does she do it? These are the tried and true fit in a size 10. J. Jill jeans. <laughs> now I can't say it. J. Jill jeans. Just a nice comfy straight pair of nice jeans. These are Banana Republic women's size large jogger pants. I just sold a pair of these, so I got another pair. They'll probably sell for $15 or $18, but they're Lyocell. So that's a really good fabric. Size large cargo jogger pants with pockets in Lyocell. Sure. Free people. And these are a really good pair, you guys, because the style on these is awesome. We the free in a 29. I'll have to find the OB number on these. They, they don't look good right now. But do you trust me? Give me a thumbs up if you trust me. <laughs> that they will look good. So they're high rise, super wide leg. Super wide leg flare pant, which is what is in style right now. Cropped wide leg flare pants in like a mustard color. Huge pile right next to me. Huge, huge pile. This is another pashmina shawl, scarf shawl. And I'm looking to say, why did I buy this one? Did it also have a tag on it? I hope so, otherwise it's kind of hard to just throw up. Oh, here it is. Oh, this is another one. 70% pashmina, 30% silk. Nice, right guys, nice. This is that baby brand I love picking up, tea collection show you the tag in case you're interested in learning like higher end baby stuff it just says T, but it's really T collection designed in San Francisco. This is also T collection. Okay, we get some bolos. Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's do it. This one is a tag to memorize. This is going to be a really good flip for me. You guys, it's double R Ralph Lauren. I think I'll show you some footage of this one. Double R Ralph Lauren, what? Okay, this might be one of my best finds of the day and it would be a really easy uh, brand to overlook. I learned this in my Ralph Lauren video. Double Ralph Lauren. Okay, you guys, if it says double R or double Ralph Lauren, it's a total bolo within the brand. I just sold for $45 a men's size extra small. Um double R shirt, similar to this. That one had little anchors. This one has stars. So this is like a really, really good brand to keep your eye out. Check out that video, you guys, that I did on the Ralph Lauren because I did an unboxing from Helpsy and I learned a lot about the different Ralph Lauren labels. So that one is definitely one to keep your eye out. It's not all created equal, so it's good to know which ones are bolos, right? What? Yes. It's a star print. It's 100% cotton and it's an XL. I just sold an extra small one for $40 or $45. Okay? So this is a bolo within the brand Ralph Lauren. I'm so excited to get that listed. Someone's going to love it too. That's what's exciting. This is Synergy Organics. I find this quite often around here organic clothing this is a size small it's hard to see that tag but they make like embroidered stuff and organic cotton stuff this is a graphic tee what the heck is that graphic a bubble or a planet it might be some sort of planet but it's an organic top this is tracy reese which i do not find very often at all and it's 100 percent merino wool okay that's a really good brand. Tracy Reese Marina Well is a really good fabric. And this is just a little lightweight cardigan. 
in a neutral color. It looks horrible right now because it needs to be steamed up, but it also has a tie around the neck. So you've got your cardigan and then this will tie in like a secretary bow around your neck. There's another word for that bow, which I choose not to say on my channel. You can Google it, okay? Oh, there's some good, good, good brands in here like this. A We The Free Size 27 denim skirt. This was somebody's throwback pile. Look at the fringe on that, baby. That's really cool. This is an amazing Bolo denim brand. It's Mother, M-O-T-H-E-R. Sometimes the tags are hard to see and read, but this is the pocket. So that's what I saw, the M for mother. Now, not all mother jeans are gonna sell great. It depends on the style. I didn't look this style up. Let's see what it is. The Wilder Medium Kitty in a 26. These do have a little hole in them, but look at the wash and then look at the flare leg with the raw hem. So that's like a really good style. It's not like little skinny jeans, which are kind of going out. These have a little hole right on the seam here which I will either stitch up really quick myself or disclose it. And even if I get, you know, half of what they're worth because they're not in amazing condition, it's at the bins. These are less than a pound. So this is like a $3 for me. This, <laughs> I don't do a ton of vintage, but <laughs> this is all that jazz. If you can find the all that jazz, like 80s, 90s maxi dresses, they sell great. This is a top but it's got shoulder pads and asymmetrical hem. It's maybe a 20 or $25 flip, but if you can find the dresses, keep your eye out. I found two pairs of Birkenstocks. Birkenstocks sell even when they look like this. So that, that toe wear, it's just what happens with Birkenstocks. The, um, I don't know if these are men's or women's. The tread looks really good. And they say size 42. And I think that's a style number, 270. So I, these are so popular right now. Everyone's wearing them again that even in this condition, I can sell them. Let me know if you've sold Birkenstocks and how you've done with them and what you've learned about them because I, I don't find them because everybody buys them. I think this must be a kid's pair, size 36, or someone with a teeny tiny foot. These I bought because they're linen. They're the Gap 10 size 10 girlfriend chino, but they're like the perfect linen pants. Perfect neutral, lightweight linen pants. I'm gonna show you my pile. My brother had a baby, so I'm trying to collect little things. I'm trying to get stuff for when the baby's a little bit older. These are little penguin lobster shorts. <laughs> because you know how everybody gives you like newborn stuff for zero to three months and then they grow out of that in a few months and you're like, oh, you need like one T, two T. So I'm trying to put a box together for them of bigger stuff. This is the brand Roots. It sometimes says Roots Canada. It's done. Oopsie, this video must be longer than I thought. And I know I want to add bins clips, so that's too bad because I hope I don't want you to not see this amazing stuff because it's too long, but what can I do? This is Roots. I've heard it also called Roots Canada. They make sweatpants, sweatshirts, and um, it sells pretty good. This is a Victoria's Secret nightgown. It might be silk. It feels like silk. Gorgeous color too. Size large, 100% silk. This is a beauty. Look at this. I can't tell what's going on. There we go. Look at how gorgeous this is. It's a gown really. A nightgown, a silk nightgown in this beautiful purple. This is probably what my partner would love me to wear and, and I'm just in like an oversized t-shirt. <laughs> this is Logo Lori Goldstein. This is a US large. I picked this up in the larger sizes. It's a tunic, kind of a mature women's brand. Great color on that tunic. Here's the other matching pillowcase. Thank you, Jill, if you watch my videos. I don't know. This is REI Co-op. So REI, see how it says Co-op underneath? That's what I'm looking for nowadays. I mean, I'll pick up REI stuff, but the REI Co-op is like this newer line 
This is vented, so it's open in the back, and it's a men's XXL. So look out for that co-op, because that's doing better. Oh my god, some of my best things are at the end again. And not everybody makes it till the end, so... These are Viore. This is my best-selling activewear brand now. So, this was in someone's throwback pile. So all I can say is if you don't know that brand, you're not going to think these are anything special. V-U-O-R-I, Viore, size large cargo pants. This is another shot of their logo. They're, they also sometimes now are just putting a V on it. These are like in excellent condition. I don't know if they're men's or women's. I think they're men's. Let me do the pocket test. Yeah, they're men's. And I found a mask <laughs> in the pocket. I was like, is it going to be money? A piece of tissue. Jeez. These are men's, size large, I think. They don't look that large. But the pockets seem like men's. I'll probably edit this all out because who wants to listen to that? These sell better than Lululemon for me, better than Athleta. Those have been like my best selling active brands. Alo, Viore sells fast and for around 40 bucks or so. I found some Salvador Ferragamos. The thing that made me go, I have to pick these up is people are still buying the Thread Up Designer Rescue Box. And let me know in the comments if you've got that box and if you got a pair of Salvador Ferragamos in there. I feel like they put these in every designer box. These are actually quite gorgeous. They're snake skin and leather. Kind of classic. Says made in Italy on the bottom. Just beautiful. They're size 8. I mean, this isn't my style. They're very conservative and classic. Just want to make sure you've seen that in case you're new. Salvador Ferragamo. So we'll see what those go for. I'm not doing shoes unless I can list them as is because I don't have time to be washing things. This is that brand T collection again, but this is an XL. So it's a kid's 12 to 14. And it is a gorgeous sweater. What are those? Do you guys think those are little llamas? Are they llamas? <laughs> what are, what is it? Are you a llama mama? Does it say llama printed sweater? 100% cotton. I don't know what that is on there though. A donkey or a mule, but who would make a donkey sweater? <laughs> so bad. Why do you watch me? This is Spanx. Assets by Spanx. So again, the more you know, I just saw assets and I just happened to know that in teeny letters under assets, it says Spanx because I've found it a bunch. Size large Spanx bodysuit, okay? Then finally, the best kimono ever. If you've stayed with me, you get a gold star from Quemby. <laughs> so I went through this bag. It's a soft surrounding size large, extra large, kimono. And are those birds? I don't know, but look at the fringe. Like I could throw this on over this outfit and I, it would just be so good, right? Little fringy kimono. Okay, guys, I'm going to show you this pile. You're not going to believe it. Can I show it to you? Is this working? It is like a massive, massive pile of stuff that what do I have to do now? I have to go list all this. I mean, <sighs> I'm not a professional photographer. Okay, guys, I'm just not. I love you so much. Thank you for your supportive comments. You're the best for being here. Someone wanna come over and help me with this giant pile? <laughs> so excited to film so I could process it, but now I have to do the work. Okay, guys, I'll see you soon. Bye. Okay. Well, I've already decided that today I'm going to make this video lightning fast and I'm not going to make any mistakes. <laughs> Let's start laughing right now. I mean, might as well because that's hilarious. Why do I look so short? Like, maybe this has to come down a little. I look like a little... A little too short girl sitting there. I love graphic tees. I love band tees, but sometimes I don't like to wear a graphic of a certain band or something because I'm not, I don't know enough and I'm afraid they'd be like, oh, you really love the Rolling Stones, huh? And I'd be like, I guess, like I just like the t-shirt, but I'm not like a huge Rolling Stones fan, for example. I don't know why I tell you guys all these things. It's really embarrassing. 
Okay, but that's not good looking. Look, that is not good. Oh shoot, does this have a missing button? Ugh. Oh well, is there a spare? Oh, they're just little white buttons. Okay, just keep moving on. Haven't even started yet and I'm already a mess, okay? <laughs> this is how I think I am. And you know, I'm just wearing a regular t-shirt. Sorry, babes. Let's start over. Let's just start over, okay? Start good. Get ready for goodness.